Hi, it's Andrea with Lifestyle with Andrea. Today I wanted to go over a quick video on how to install hardware on your cabinet doors. And right now we are in the middle of our kitchen renovation and so I thought it would be a perfect time to do a video on this. If you've ever tried to install handles on your cabinet doors, you will know that it can be kind of tricky to get them all level if you're just eyeballing it or um, a lot of work to try to measure out each one. So I did want to go over using this jig. Um, I actually found this on Amazon and it was about $20, $25 for this. And it comes with all these pieces here and I'm going to go over how to use this. I will say that the instructions are not that great. Um, they're pretty basic. So I did want to show you how to use this jig and we'll actually go through and drill some of our cabinet doors for you to see that process. So this is the basic setup for handles and you have your guide pieces here um, and then you have your horizontal guide piece and then this is the vertical guide piece. So I'm going to show you the first step in setting this up for your handles is to set these guide pieces for your handle length. Um, if you're using just a knob, you can use, you can actually use any of the guide pieces to set that. And it just depends on where on the door that you want your, your knob at. But today I'm going to show you with handles that we're using. And so these are our handles. We do want them on the door, um, kind of in this area. So the first step is I'm going to set my two guide pieces and I'm just taking one of the screws, screwing it into the handle. And then setting, you'll, um, these just twist to move and then you'll set the other one for the length of the handle. So wherever that handle ends, then you can set the other screw and tighten these two set screws down. So now we have where our two holes are. These are gonna be our guides for where we're drilling. So now I'm gonna remove this. And then the next step that we're gonna do, so step two, we're actually gonna set our vertical guide piece. And just as a note, I do have these already set for where I want them. So I did already tighten everything down. Um, and then for our cabinet doors, this is not our finish coat. We still have one more coat. If you are doing this on a finished coat already, I do recommend putting some painter's tape down so that you're not scratching your final coat. So to set the vertical, we're gonna set our jig on our cabinet door. And the vertical, this piece, you can loosen it and move it up and down for where you want your handle placement. So you can see right now, this is my vertical. It's against the top of my door. And you can see these are going to be my two guide pieces. So this is where my handle will sit vertically on the door. The final step for this is to set your horizontal in on the door. So this piece, it does have a set screw here and it will move up and down on this ruler here for how far into the door you wanna be. So you can move it kind of further out or further in, depending on where on this door face you want the handle. So the final step that I actually did was, um, it's kind of difficult to see with the jig on there if I like that placement for my handle. So I actually took a little pencil, um, drew a little mark in here, and you can see my mark here. And then I just placed my handle on top just to make sure I liked that placement. So we're gonna go ahead and drill this out for you. And I will say you can do this with one person. It probably is going to be easier with two people, one person holding the jig and one person drilling. So I'm actually gonna have my husband help me with that. I'll hold the jig while he drills the holes and we'll go through and show you that process.
Okay, so we drilled out our first door and you can see our two drill marks here aligned with the jig guide. And I'll show you why using a jig is so awesome. So we have the door that lays next to it. So this door will lay right here. So obviously we want the handle on the other side because it's gonna be right next to it and swing open. So if you remember, I have my jig like this on this door. Now all I can, all I have to do is flip it over and set it on this door and I can have my two guide here to drill out this door. So here are my doors and I did put the cabinet hardware in there for you to see that it does line up perfectly. So minus the initial setup of the jig, you can see how this process using that jig could save you a ton of time from having to measure each one out, making sure that it aligns correctly and lines up and is level. So I highly recommend if you are putting on multiple handles, to get a jig similar to this one. I'll actually link this one in the description if you do wanna order that, um, or there are were some other ones on Amazon as well. So we put our handles on doors that are on the top cabinets. You can imagine I have the jig set up, I just flipped it vertically the opposite direction. So if you have lower doors that you're putting handles on, which we will be in a little bit, uh, but you can use the same jig, just flip it over again to put the handles on the top of the doors. So I'll actually be doing another video to show you how to use the same jig to install hardware on drawers. That'll be our next step after we finish drilling out the rest of these doors. So look for that. I'll link that once I have that completed to show you guys that process. It's very similar, just a little bit different setup on the jig for that. Thanks again for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe. And I do also have a blog that you can check out step-by-step -step instructions on using this. I'll have pictures linked on that as well. If you want written instructions, that's at lifestylewithandrea.com. Thanks.